up next, we get to this lightweight tilt between Bruce Lee and Conor McGregor. Strikers delight champ Conor McGregor versus Bruce Lee. Your thoughts on what might play? Nobody's going for a takedown, I'll tell you that right. much. These guys are going to go to the center of the octagon, start trading kicks. Let's see if Bruce Lee can set a trap. Let's see if he can trick Conor into dropping his hands and landing one of his patented kicks. It could be a quick night for Conor McGregor on the wrong end of a Bruce Lee head kick. I think McGregor might try to test that takedown defense of Bruce Lee. We'll get oh, some answers here in short order. Oh! What to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to just go finish his fight. Oh, he might be out. Man. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Whoa. Oh, he lands a huge right hand. What a fight. Oh! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Oh, big knee to the head. Wow. Looked like it did stun him a little bit. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got to oh. hurt very bad. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Now he's gonna try to attack Kimura here. The Kimura is not the arm, it's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. And he's out. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Man, how fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter. He's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get now blasted. Now the guy's got an armbar. He's attacking it on him. <laughs> got to be careful, armbar. Oh, he picks him up and slams him down. Big explosive slam to lift him and slam him out of that armbar. Go right into side control. Now let's see what he does, right? Sometimes when you do that, the choke or the yes. submission can get tighter, but he was able to evade it there. Yes. Oh, he just hurt him. He just hurt him. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Just that. Oh, the horn sounds for the end of round one. Take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, here we go with round two. There, blocked by Connor. Oh, he's looking to set up that head kick. No good. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? 
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're... No! Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press this. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's gonna start looking to land big shots from the top. Just missed with the left there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Just over three minutes to go. He engages in the single collar tie. Left hand punch from the clinch. His opponent's got him in the clinch. He needs to break away and get back to his range because he's taking punch after punch from his clinch position. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. To throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, his right eye keeps taking damage. Looking pretty swollen now. Big ball. Oh, and he's got him hurt here. strike to end this fight. It landed flush. I'm not even sure the opponent wholly saw it coming. And before he could recover, the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched it. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart one guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, coming up next, what should be a good lightweight clash between Anthony Showtime Pettis and Nate Diaz. You ready? Uh, you ready? All right, so here we go with round one, and when you are facing a submission specialist like this as a striker, you have got to avoid the canvas, I would think, at all. Yes, you have to. And if the striker gets taken down, he needs to make sure the only thought is to get back to his feet. Whether the submissionist goes to his back, oh! Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Just misses there with the left. That shot is blocked by Diaz. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, huge hook. Big punch lands over the top. Oh, how's he gonna follow this? This striker has come out swinging and. He's a very aggressive guy, but you gotta be careful, I would say, to not overextend yourself. Yeah, you would think you gotta slow down, but not this guy. This guy knows that he can secure finishes on the feet or he can take it down to his back. But ideally for him, he wants to knock the guys out. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Look at him working and trying to shut the limit. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Able to check the high kick. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. There. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press 
awesome. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Back to the feet. He's looking for that left hand. Not there. Pettis gets caught with that punch. Oh! Oh! What a fantastic strike. Control at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Good finish this fight. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in a gi at some point in his life the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Potentially working on a leg attack here, DC. It looks like he's attacking a heel hook. Right there from the bottom, nicely done by Diaz. Round two next. Oh man, that was slick. What are you doing out there? Let's shake it off. We need to do exactly what we did in the gym. I want you to keep your hands up, keep moving your head, keep moving your feet, cut those angles, and let's change it up. This is MMA. Put him on. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC, talk us through the highlight. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. All right, both fighters ready to go here in round two. It is Anthony Showtime okay, Pettis versus Nate Diaz. Blocks the punch. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land. He's got to roll. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Jab hurt him a little bit. And now he lands a combination. Fifty total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. And landing at a 30%. That one appeared to stun him. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Three minutes remain in the round. Oh, huge block! Unable to connect there. Wow! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? It's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat. Diaz gets back up, back into his comfort zone. A little single collar tie there. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing, Must. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. All right, so just like we saw in round one, really starting to get that hook going here in round two. Oh!
goodness, what a fight. Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a...